What's going on, people? I'm Black Zen, and I'm an eclectic music creator that teaches other creators how to be more proficient in making music through FL Studio from beginning to end. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos geared towards helping you get more control over your music. Today, I'm going to teach you how to set your recording input in FL Studio 20.9. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So in this recording channel, I go to this button right here and you see it's on post EQ. I'm going to set that to external input only. Well, after I press my input for me, I'm using a focus, right? So my input's going to be one because that's the channel that my mic is going into. All right. So now that I've selected input one as my audio input source, I'm going to press this. It's set by default to external input only. This is very important because when I'm recording, I do not want to have any effects baked into my audio. Imagine if as a music creator, you're a producer, you're an engineer, you're an, a rapper, a singer, whatever the case may be, you essentially are cooking, right? That's like a term we use in the music world. Oh, I'm cooking up something. When you're cooking, you go to the supermarket to get ingredients, right? You're not going to buy cooked ingredients when you're trying to cook something from scratch at home. That wouldn't make sense. You're going to record with the external input only, which means that it'll default to take audio directly from the sound card in my external interface only. External and mixer input will default to using the external audio plus the mixer input. We don't want that. Post effects basically means anything in these slots. We don't want that. This thing, Edison, is just like another recording tool. Uh, you can just keep it muted for now. It doesn't matter. Post EQ includes this equalizer built into each mixer track in FL Studio. Post level and panning. Level is basically when you modify the fader. Panning is this panning knob right here. where You can pan vocals left to right. Then post track. Basically everything involved in this track. So... When you're recording, like I said, with the whole cooking analogy, you want your vocals to be raw. 